I think um, we're getting more buy-in from the riders and they want to be coached and they want that advice as a neutral view and I think that's been a massive help. The guys that are successful now are really taking that all on board and, and evolving their race riding skills and themselves as a, as a professional athlete to, to, to get to where they need to be. It's all about promoting yourself as a brand, I feel, and, and getting people to buy into that. As coaches, obviously, we're all aware of, of signposting. We can get things sorted out for them, signpost them to whoever they may need to see, be it about nutrition, weight or whatever. The whole system seems to work really, really well. Yeah, obviously you always want to be um, the best you can, so um, there's a lot of different things that go in behind the scenes. Um, obviously the jockey coaching is a massive help, and I think without my jockey coach, Roddy Green, um, I don't think I'd be where I am today. You know, I know all about the troughs of, you know, of when things are bad and, and, you know, and the high days, and I can understand their problems. I remember what they're going through. It goes with experience as well, but being able to talk through races with George has been amazing. It's just another opinion and I really trust his views and opinions. Obviously the enthusiasm of youth is, is, is infectious and when you get someone and they can feel themselves improving and they want lessons and they want to keep pushing the boundaries and you see them improving in between sessions, putting all the practice to good use, it's just very satisfying. The smallest little thing you can change can make a big difference and the fact that we've got you know, the facilities and the technology to literally turn it around and play it back to them so they can see the benefits is huge. My jockey coaches are, I've got two actually, um, I've got Richard Perham and Michael Hills. They've helped me a lot sort of progress through from the days when I've had my first ride all the way up to now and hopefully through my career and I can use them then still once I've hopefully ride up my claim and they help you down to what you look like on the horse and, and how you ride the horse. But more importantly is they do quite a lot behind the scenes of sort of racing and, and if you've had a bad day you can give them a call, call on the way back and I feel like I can almost speak, speak to Richard and Michael almost about anything, any sort of issues I'm having and, and, and they're great, great advice and they're you know, both great mentors. Jockey coach is George Baker, we're working with all aspects of my riding really, help me massively with diet, weights, taking, like he's, he's sort of suggest what he thinks my minimum weight should be and because he's been there and done it so it's good to take advice from him because he knows the long run will be best for you. I'd probably call him most time after every day of riding really and I go see him once a week at the Oaksy House, do lots of training there and we have look through all the rides in that week and put things right. You get quite a close bond with your riders and they trust you and, it, and I think it's because they, they trust your judgment on, on things. And at whatever level they're at, I find the more I've been coaching, I've evolved my coaching styles to p meet the specific needs of each rider rather than having one style fits all as such. And I think that's important to do as a, as a coach. I can talk to Brian about anything. He's really good, to be honest. Like, if I had any questions regarding any new sponsorship or, like, media training, he's always there. And obviously he's been there and done it himself, so it's nice to have somebody there to ask who has been in them situations. He's a well-respected man in racing, so hopefully some of that can rub off on me. <laughs> a lot of trainers really like the idea and they embrace the idea because it's, it's going to help them at the end of the day. You know, if the jockey is getting better, it's a no-brainer, really. I think the jockey coaching program, uh, which has been around a while now, has really benefited trainers and young apprentices. You know, it gives, gives apprentices direction, but more importantly, there's someone with experience styling them and strengthening them and focusing their mind on what they're doing. You can really see a difference. I've got a pretty good relationship with the trainers and team of riders I work with. I think the majority of, of coaches are in the same boat. It's all about communicating and letting them know where their riders are, if they might be struggling with something. And it's all trying to collectively get the best results you can get. And that's what it is, it's a results driven sport and you need to be winning. I'd pick up the phone as much as you can, take advantage of any time that you have to meet with, with a jockey coach because ultimately like, they want to make you as good as they can make you and you want to be the best that you can be. So, um, you know, it kind of seems silly to not take advantage of the fact that you can use it to heighten your career, speed up your career and get to where you want to be.